Hello, we're back for the uh, climax of uh, Alter Ego. I am so sorry. <laughs> that, uh, nice. Real live, uh, real live. We don't, we don't, we don't varnish the horrible truth of uh, air trapped inside organs. Uh, anyway, this is uh, this is a really nice trailer. Like I've lived in, I've, I've lived in more than a few in my day. All right, James. Yeah. The stream, at least for me, looks really bizarre. Oh you right, to... yeah. That's going to be something I want to pay attention to. Um. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> what I was saying is, this is a really nice trailer and one that, uh, like, as somebody who has lived in more than a couple of them, uh. I don't know. I like it. I really wish I had lived in a, a trailer that had this sort of, uh, you know, uh, memory. Well, this, this, this trailer is about as big as a house, right? Yeah, I mean, it is. This is pretty. <coughs> and I like, I like. Uh, I guess you can't see it um, because you can't go into first person view. Though I wonder maybe in, in the final chapter if you can when you're running back through here, but that's uh, I'm really interested to know what the uh, vinyl uh, there's there's a a record that has a texture on it. I'm really curious to know which one that is. Oh yeah. And yeah, I, I think that the uh, the. The locked door is definitely a distort uh, a product part of distortion of space. In addition to uh, the greatly overprotected uh, door there on the right with the four locks. This is the deluxe uh, memory repression uh, model. <laughs> This isn't technically Alter Ego Part 2, is it? No, it's not. I guess I always thought that it this was because there's like a... It's weird. They give you... Maybe because... So is is there no Binkyon Gate in Alter Ego? You know, you're right. Because what... I mean, <laughs> how, how at this point can there be? I kind of I kind of think that there's no Vinculum Gate perhaps because of the mediation of another video game. Yeah. Um, that uh, I don't know. Maybe that's that, that has some significance. I do notice that when uh, uh, um, love love something something whatever her name is the the gamer girl that uh, the the woman that uh, Garcian has been playing this game against New York Manhattan Broadway um, that once all the personae are, uh, you know, hold on, the military standoff in the skyscraper building, the hell? Skyscraper Broadway. Skyscraper Broadway. <laughs> Still. Oh, God, <laughs> it's so good. But, uh, but no, it's like after they're all exhausted, it's like the actual human beings behind it, which sort of, uh, you know, love and Garcian. They're coming. It hits up the yep. illusion, illusionary nature of uh, the Killer Seven. You were mentioning the lack of Binkelm Gate earlier. Maybe that has something to do with the fact that uh, Harmon doesn't didn't actually give you the mission. You know, that's it. No, that's a really good point. Yeah, that. Yeah. But Harmon is involved. Here. I mean, he's involved in, in this this very scene. He's going to show up as the leader of the Killer 7. Yeah. And obviously he takes part in the, uh, the fight. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's like the one time you see Kevin standing up straight. <laughs> must say. 
it's an emotion. Don't you think? I think that's enough chit chat. Shall we begin? Why not? I've got the ultimate cards matched up. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Let's go crazy. I'm sorry. That's uh. Is let's get it on even a even an appropriate trigger for the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 theme? I don't know. Oh right, you can't actually turn around here. <coughs> I think it's uh, what shows up here frequently in the background is there's the right, which I'm circling with my mouse. There's which also shows up here and here. There's dream, and I don't even know what that is. It's some sort of Alien gray brain head. Um. <laughs> yeah. It does look like a brain. First matchup, matchup. Harmon Smith versus Handsome. Could it be like a one of those you know scan one of those brain scans with uh, like an MRI? Yeah, yeah with, but with uh, you know this. Uh, never mind. I, I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. <laughs> that is not New York. <laughs> I'm extremely upset by what I've seen. Oh, hey, look at that traffic light. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, it's... Uh, it's interesting that uh, even though the aiming of the handsome men does not correspond with yours, uh, he will fire. They always fire at the same time you do. As you can see from the way that the gun moves when the Harmon fires. Yeah. So I mean, they they basically are exactly the same, and it's like you know predetermined. Oh wow! No, they actually explode into ones and zeros. Next matchup, match oh, yeah. Smith versus Handsome White Pearl. Not, not blood. Hajime, Hajime. Handsome White Pearl. Doc? Looks like Orc? What? What is that? Uh, almost looks like the ABC logo. Huh. No, I can see that. Yeah. I think it's really interesting how the light has, I mean, it's a very weird uh, projection. Uh, it kind of like... See, like, hold on to, hold on to that. Let me... Yeah, here. I'll, I'll post this in the Twitch chat, but, uh, the, whoa, oh, I guess I won't post it in the Twitch chat, because I'm not, well, then, but I'll put it in the Skype chat, at least, uh, okay, well, let's, let me bring that up, then, oh. I mean, I'll pull it up later and attach it to the to the uh, yeah. to the video. But, uh, but yeah, no. Uh, again, uh, with the echoing and the mirroring of this, uh, everything that you do is exactly what the other one does. It's so sad. Kind of, kind of makes the fight feel a bit like the fight with uh, Julie in <laughs> Inset. Yeah, except you can't lose this one. Our third matchup is Coyote. Well, like you I, can. Like I did Usually. separately. <laughs> Handsome gold. That's interesting. Uh, they that handsome man did not explode into uh, ones and zeros. Well, he won. 
Oh no, that but that was one where Coyote won though. Oh wait, yeah, ten seconds of delay. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, Aha, that's a gun. Uh, that's yeah, it's a gun. <laughs> it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really prove much, uh, as though I caught it. Aha! You can't fool me, game. There's play two, and I expect to win. That's probably uh, associated with that at some point. But yeah, it's just, it's a very weird. Um, uh, oh no! Wait, that says the fight. No, it says the right. That's uh, you can see up there. Uh, it's a, it's a very weird projection of light. Uh, even to the extent yeah. that, like, right up here, it's like the building is uh, is insubstantial, which suggests to me that there's this, you know, it's like this digital overlay on top of actual reality, and that that's what these are like, maybe textures or something from a game. I totally forgot that she kills you when you're reloading. It also has the same sort of effect as like little sponsorship logos all around, you know, sports arenas. Yeah. Sports. Yeah, you're right. You think of it that way. But it, what's what's really interesting is like I, I kind of like what's really interesting to me is like I kind of like see these things as maybe television projections. Um, on top of the surfaces, but there are like market areas where there's like, I mean this, what I'm pointing at right now with Kevin is uh, like an actual structure in light that's, that, that is like assembled on top of that building and same with well, what I was looking at over here so it's, I don't know, it's very strange that they're uh, it's like there are two realities overlapped on top of each other <coughs> Also, Kevin's death pose is the most horrifying. I mean, it, it frightens and upsets me deeply. How he it's also interesting because this is one of the few times where you get to see the Killer 7's shooting animations. Yeah, you're right! Because think... usually you see them, you know, from the first person view, but here you actually get to see what the that character models are doing. Which struck me just now, because Kevin's throws look really odd. Yeah, they do. It's on also, the outside. I think it's, a, it's really interesting how comparatively, I mean, Coyote, uh, going based off of like his fight with Handsome Brown, uh, you know, he reeled back every time he fired, but Dan is like, completely in control of his shot here. It just doesn't even... Yeah. Recoil. I mean, his his arm goes wild, but and that's also Dan's death animation. I mean, that that you can it's difficult to see because of the effects, the visual effects. Seventh matchup. Uh, Smith oh God, this is purple. so cool. Wait, so only only handsome red blew up into ones and zeros. Yep. All all the others have just died. Yeah, uh, fuck you, New York. <laughs> yep. Pass me over for an important businessman, will you? Take this, taxis. How come the handsome men pair off the brawniest of the Killer 7 with just a fat, out of shape guy? Oh, there has to be a fat Sentai Ranger. I mean, that's... There's, there's always one. <laughs> I think it's interesting that when you fire, this is, this is another place where it doesn't sort of... Um, oh, hi, Hal. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no, it was off at 8.30 because there were technical problems, but we hopped back on. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Something else that's also interesting, and I would—I mean, do you want to hop on now, man? Uh, we're almost done with this, but you're welcome to join us if you want.
and while waiting to hear from Al, it's interesting that this is one of the few instances where the reticule uh, does not, it does not narrow in on an enemy. And so, it, I mean, it's like, sort of, again, this is, this is an inconcrete thing. And as well, yeah. when you fire on Hanson Purple, he catches fire, but Mask doesn't. Yes, do it. Yeah. And this is... This is where Mask turned... I mean, again, like, hitting up the parallels um, between the Killer7... Oh, wow, he's full of blood now, too. Um... Uh, he's kind of got this uh, Kamen... It makes me think of Kamen Rider, but he's got this very insect-like uh, appearance now, uh, even with the, uh, the sort of like the winged cape. Yeah, yeah. Which I guess is just his regular cape, except with transparency put through those, uh, you know, uh, those polygons. But, um... But yeah, no, it's like it, hitting up his, uh, you know, similarity, the, the similarity of the Killer 7 to Handsome Men, you know... He turns into a Sentai hero at the moment of death and comes back to life. So it's, I mean, that's very much a trope of that genre. Yeah, actually, he has the same color scheme as Handsome Dead, doesn't he? Same. No, oh, you're right. Isn't that? It's roughly similar. Um, it's a different costume, but it is a, it is a, a, a variation of purple. Yeah. Right, nothing hits him now. And this is this is also super awesome because it's like I think Mask's move, uh, special move, takes the most blood vials out of anybody's. Oh no, he's the strongest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Emanates death. Final matchup, Garcia and Smith versus Handsome Pink. It's also interesting that Handsome Pink's final animation is, uh, is the same as Coyote's. I mean, because they probably didn't want to have to animate another, you know, girl for the sake of, like, somebody who's going to appear for, like, five seconds. Yeah. Her world of games and the real world coexist as one. Oh, yeah, this said... Nice to meet you, Mr. Killer Garcia. My name's Love. How do you know my name? Because I write the story, mister. I don't follow. Here's the thing. I'm working for Electro Online Inc. I create propaganda using media, you see? You're saying that they're all Electro Online's advertisements? That's why I'm gonna bring them down. I'll make them pay for Trevor's death. Can you really do it? I'll make sure justice is done. But in my book, though, you be sure to check it out in the next week's issue. I'm really glad we met, Mr. Killer Garcia. Oh, shit. The pleasure's all mine. Love, your passion is inspiring to us all. Thank you. I'll be watching you, mister. She has a, she has a delta shape on her thumb, which is, I mean, that's Harmon's sight. That's the third eye right there. Hard-boiled shooting. I think somebody mentioned these are most of these are like uh, Capcom <laughs> references. Yeah, for some reason, I think it's interesting that Garcian shows up with a silenced <laughs> version of Harmon's gun. I mean, it's like an anti-tank rifle. And uh, Hal in chat mentions that Garcian found love in a video game. Yep. Do they even tally your heaven smiles with this one? 
Oh, yep, yep, they do. <coughs> wow, holy crap. I didn't think I did that. Well, I guess maybe... I, man, I can't even justify that. Um, Is that good or bad? That's a lot. <laughs> I didn't think I killed 101. Yeah. I mean, makes me think of... Well, I think you did. That seems right to me, especially if you're counting the the big balls, the rolling balls. Oh yeah, I guess so. And there also, were there were a lot of those in also, there. Also, the egg uh, egg smiles. There were several yeah. egg producing ones. Um, but yeah, no, I think to sort of uh, follow up on something that what we've been talking about sort of like consistently is I really think that that wind section I mean as many um, as many heaven smiles as there are there I think that probably that is an instance where it, it is uh, sort of suggested that uh, that you were supposed to be uh, that you're supposed to use Kevin there as well so yeah I think that uh, that that is uh, the the level is designed to use every killer seven member special power. Yeah, which is interesting. Who who is the silhouette for smile? Oh, that's a it's a heaven smile. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it begins again. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. I have never heard this sound before. Well, thank you very much for joining. We are going to call it a night here on this. Um, my name is James. I have a legend on the select button, not that forums, and I have been joined by uh, Grant Dempsey, Ian Perez, and thank you. Online. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't, no, I didn't mean to cut off your uh, cut off your words. <laughs> do you want to do you want to say it again? Sorry, so you can have a proper outro. Ian Perez, Mind Paradox, translating no Spanish here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you for that. And uh, yeah, we will uh, see y'all next time. Have a good night. Farewell. Good night.